of AK Family. We are so excited today. It is because we are getting back on the Mardi Gras. The Mardi Gras. If you don't know, we were on the first sailing of the Mardi Gras from the United States mm -hmm. and we are so happy just about a year later to be getting back on board. But not just us, we going with a whole group. This is the first ever Melanin at Sea group cruise sponsored by the trifecta and we are super elated to have all of our friends to come along with us and join us along with rich and jazz and addy and, addy and terry as we sail across the seas you're looking around and it looks a little familiar that's because we are back here at go port so you guys already know about go port we talked about them in our last series on this channel which was the harmony of the seas mm -hmm. we actually talked about them when we went on the mardi gras that's the first time you guys have right. ever seen go port before we are tried and true with go port yep. when it comes to port canaveral if you are looking for a place to park your vehicle if you need transportation to the port if you need a hotel they do full packages this time around we did a snooze park cruise package which is what we did last time yep. we stayed at the same hotel actually we stayed at the Hampton Inn and Suites which was like even better this time around right. because our room was so nice there's a link down in our description yes. if you want to book a package with them please click that link and they will take great care of you it's finally time for us to get on the ship when we checked in we actually got a number so when they call our number then we will go to get on our bus to head down to the port hope you guys are excited if you're new here subscribe it's gonna be a fantastic week yep, let's yep, yep. go so cruising is officially back, which means more people. And I'm telling you guys, it was super busy in here a second ago. But GoPort has the buses coming. Like, they are coming on a schedule. So you will not be waiting here for too long. It's time for us to get on. So right after we filmed our intro, it was like time for us to go. So yep. how long did we wait? Not long at all. Yeah. We love that. Right. Let's go. All right, guys, we just made it to Cruise Terminal 3. As you can see, there are a lot of people waiting right now. These are the folks that have later arrival times and later check-in times. Our check-in time is 10.30, and it's like 11.20 right now. Right. So it's time for us to go. Yep. It is very busy, but I would recommend only coming to the port at your arrival time. If possible, try not to come any earlier. Right. Uh, yeah, that was only the first part. Yeah, the line goes all the way back here. Do you see the Mardi Gras though? There it is, y'all. Get here all the time because you don't have priority. Even if your time is early, you don't have priority boarding. Once they start boarding the other the times, you just got to get in line with the other exactly. time. Exactly. So the only time we got to skip was the initial line that was down here. Right. But once you get up to this level, if you come after your boarding time, you're going to have to wait with the rest of the people. Right. So just keep that in mind, you guys. And just to show you, the line has gotten even longer. Oh, shoot. Let's see how long it takes us to get through uh, the registration and the uh, check-in process. Okay, the time is 12.11 and we just made it through security. So, so we're on... 30 minutes. Yeah, oh yeah. 30 it, minutes exactly. 30 minutes, y'all. So honestly, not too bad. Right. The line looks long, but it wasn't right. bad. We are officially... Getting on the gangway to get on the ship. I am... Now it just hit me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're getting back on the Mardi Gras again. The Mardi Gras. This is so exciting. Name a better feeling than this. None. I'll wait. I'll wait. Still waiting. Oh my gosh. Still waiting. Here we go, y'all. Woo! Hi. Hello, hello. We are officially on board. The Mardi Gras. It's so good to be back on the ship. Right off the bat, we didn't come in on the other side. Right, right, right. right. How it was last time. We came in over by the bar last time into like the atrium. We came in on the opposite. 
opposite side by Java Blue. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be back on the ship! Oh, this is amazing! Si! Yes! <laughs> and here, Just checking them. Thank you. Well, the time is 12.30. We've got an hour until our room is open. I think it's time to eat. We're gonna go up to as I'm as we're walking down the stairs. <laughs> like, yeah, we're gonna go up to the deck 16. Yeah, I can't believe we're back on the ship. We're at the Fortune Teller Bar in the French Quarter by Emeralds. This is so exciting. I feel like I should show you all some of this area because I'm sure this would be the least crowded that we ever see it on this cruise, but. This is Emerald's Bistro. We did not get to eat here last time, but the menu looks great. Truthfully, there's not too much that we can eat here. We don't eat a lot of seafood and stuff like that, but this area is so beautiful. You've got the Alchemy Bar that's right over here. Oh, no, actually, there it is. And uh, look at this gorgeous ship, y'all. So this is Carnival Kitchen. It's right next to the entrance of the French Quarter on this side. And they do like cooking classes and stuff in here. And the chef's table is also in here. I wanted to do it on this cruise show, but it completely sold out. But this is just what the room looks like in here. It would be something really fun to do like with your family and stuff. Next to Carnival Kitchen is the Palm Restaurant. I'm not sure if this is for your time dining or one of the set times, but I will have it on the screen here. But this is the entrance, very beautiful. Major key, guys. Don't go to the ele first elevators that you see when you get on the cruise ship. These are elevators in the aft. Yes, yeah, so y'all. As you can see. <laughs> there's nobody. There are benefits to subscribing to this channel. We're gonna give you the tips. Where the Palm Restaurant is, at the end of the French Quarter, you come over here and there's a set of elevators. There's nobody, okay? No wait, nothing. We're going straight up to the Lido deck. And if y'all are wondering why Aaron has a backpack in the front, it's because he's a gentleman and he carries my things. So I appreciate you, honey. I appreciate you appreciating me. Oh, we yeah. love black love. <laughs> Time to go to the Lido deck. Let's go. Lido, the two-story red frog bar. This is amazing. We love to see it. We are at Street Eats. They've got the seafood shack over here. They've got Time Fries over here, Steam Dream, and Mad Sizzle. Every day they have something different, and today's options actually look really good. They have Turkish beef kebabs. Over here they have chars, sweet pork dumplings, they have Time Fries, they have chili cheese dog fries. here in the marketplace. We have to walk around uh, a, a, a little while times. to find a seat. But we got tacos from the, well, the famous Blue Iguana. Look at all these tacos with y'all. Aaron got all fish. I got one fish and two chicken. I'm telling you guys, please try these tacos. They're so good. And the tortillas are handmade like right before they serve it to you, so they're really fresh. All right, you guys, we are headed back to the room. Lunch was delish, and I got some ice cream. You already know, the OGs already know. Aaron's shaking his head. It's actually gelato, it's coffee gelato. You guys know I love coffee, and I love ice cream. So hello, it's a great combo. But we're headed down to our room because they are ready for us to go inside. We are on deck 10. We're going to our rooms right now. 10, three, six, nine. The door was already open. <laughs> So let's go inside and take a look. We went with an interior stateroom this time. We are not going to be in the room that often. We're hosting a group cruise. We are just fine with interiors. We actually sleep much better in interior staterooms, but it is a square interior. It's not the standard style of the main interiors on this mm -hmm. ship. Here is the desk area. You've got your fridge right here. You've got some drawer space. You do have a sitting area here that pulls out. This also does have more space inside of it. As you can see, there are some blankets in there. Got the trash can, of course, the USB outlets and the standard outlets. You've got a really nice mirror and then you've got some shelves here. 
You've got the TV right here. And then let me show you the closet. So it looks like there are three closets. Here's the first one here with the hangers and the full length mirror is in this one. And then once you open up this side, you've got some more space here with the safe and you've got a couple more drawers, pull out drawers and things like that. And moving on to the bed, you have your little nightstand on the side. And this is one thing I love about the Mardi Gras. They have a USB outlet here, which is great. And you can pull this out and this is a nightlight. You've got your plugs in the middle of the bed for the room, which is really nice. And then let me show you the bathroom. Got your toilet. I will tell you guys, the bathrooms on the Mardi Gras are very small. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I'm trying to record this not stepping inside because it's just kind of small. But here's the shower. It's very adequate for me because I'm just so small, but even I can tell it's small and I'm 4'11". I mean, a bigger person stepping into this space, this is all of your standing space in the bathroom. So it is a pretty small bathroom. It's nice, but it is small. So there's that, and that is the room tour. Our first event as a group was the Melanin Mixer in Grand Central. It was so nice to finally put faces to names, and this was a time where we could just hang out before the sail away party, and we also gave out our gifts to the group. We got some gifts for you guys too. Oh. show you some special gifts that we gave out to all those that are a part of the melanin at sea group cruise group just so you know for this group cruise the host we do have gifts for people that are sailing with us so everyone gets a nice bag mm -hmm. it says melanin at sea with the logo and everything it's very nice this is great for the beach and stuff like that or if you're taking it to the pool everyone also gets a lanyard mm -hmm. so there is a nice brown melanin at sea lanyard of course everything has to be you know the color of melanin even though melanin is in many shades and then everyone also gets a really nice magnet and everyone also gets a wristband so this is kind of our way to identify you when you're on the ship you got your lanyard and you have your wristband and we know that you're part of melanin at sea we got some special gifts as the hosts these are from rich and jazz we got a hat we have to see if Aaron is going to fit this. So let's try it right it's now. It's not going to fit. It's going to look weird. We've been up on the Lido since Sail Away. Talking. And it's about to be 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So Aaron, here's your hat. Isn't it so nice, y'all? It's very really nice. So let's try it out. Aaron feels like it's not going to fit. Pull it down. It is down. <laughs> Put some elbow grease into it. Oh. <laughs> Bless the child. See, the... Turn to the side. 
Oh, bless the child of God. Y'all just do this to laugh at me. I love you with your big head. Definitely appreciate it, Rich and Jazz. I would definitely Dang it. put it as um, uh, a, 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 a room or It's a really nice hat. It's a really nice hat. It's a really nice hat. And also the women got visors, which I, you guys know I love wearing visors, especially because I, don't, I can't really fit hats because of my hair. How does it look? It looks good. I don't have it pulled down all the way. I have makeup on, so I don't want to get like makeup on the. I love it. Thanks, Rich and Jazz, for these. They are so Definitely nice. Definitely appreciate it. Guys. No, yeah, we really do. Just in case you don't know this, I mean, I don't think we've like ever just straightforward articulated this, but Rich and Jazz are the founders of Melanin at Sea. Yes, they are. They are the founders of Melanin at Sea. We definitely appreciate the vision and the wherewithal from. A rich and jazzy life for bringing this to fruition. So, mm -hmm. um, shout out to a rich and jazzy it's life. It's such an amazing thing. Yeah, absolutely. Now that we've shown you all of the gifts that we've provided as the host and the gifts we got from Rich and Jazz, I wanted to show y'all we got a gift from somebody in our group. This is from Tiffany and Maurice. We got a card. It says AK Family on it. We're not gonna read the card to you because it's just something really special and I really appreciate y'all's kind words. Right. Like, this is so sweet. I just can't even believe you guys got us a gift in the first place. But I'm gonna give you a hint, Erin. Inside the card, it says, we brought a piece of Chicago with us. No, and then at the end it says, no Cracker Jacks here. Mm. Listen, I already know what it is. I put the pieces together. I'm very excited to open this. What do you think it is, Aaron? Uh, not Cracker Jacks. If it's not Cracker Jacks, it gotta be popcorn. <laughs> Gots to be popcorn. Look. Poppycorn. Carrots. Y'all? I don't even know what, so you gonna have to educate me. So this is a really popular popcorn that's from Chicago. I can hear it. That's the caramel popcorn. I know it is. Lord. Oh, y'all, the last time I went to Chicago, it was when me and Aaron were dating. And I went with my family and we went to Garrett's and it was so good. I haven't had it since then. I cannot believe y'all got this for us. We are That's so appreciative. Kind. We are going to snack on this in the, you don't even know, in the evenings. Oh my gosh. And we're in the bed. So is it that good, babe? Aaron is so good. Everybody comment down below if you've had Garrett's. Yes, comment comment your favorite flavor yes. of Garrett's down below too. Thank you so much. I'm just crazy, crazy freaking out because we're on a group cruise. I know. Our first group cruise with the trifecta. It's our first group cruise ever, but with the trifecta, it makes it that much more special it because does. I consider them as family. Yeah. Um, no, so it's it's super cool to be along with them growing together. But right now we're gonna get ready to go to Din Din. We're and, trying not to sit on the bed because we got right. to shower. We're gonna wash up and do what we need to do and then we we are going to go with Addie and Terry to get something to eat. So we'll see you guys later. Peace. Hello everyone. We just had a fantastic dinner with Addie and Terry. Mm -hmm. We went to Chibang tonight mm -hmm. and we had for our appetizers, I got the chicken spring rolls. I got them last cruise. I had to get them again. They're so good. I got a salad with wontons with citrus dressing. I got a cheese quesadilla. The loaded nachos are a hit. We had them last time too. For our main entree, uh, what'd you have? The fish. Oh, y'all, that fish. Crispy to crack it. It is so crispy and delicious. Mm -hmm. I tried a new type of chicken. It was the pollo de something. I'll have it on the screen. It was tasty, but it was dry. So I asked for the fish. So I had the fish and it was delicious. For dessert, I had a Mexican chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. It was very good. It was pretty much like Carnival's um, chocolate melting cake, but it wasn't as warm and it had a hint of spice to it. It was very good. And what'd you have for, Aaron just had a fruit plate for mm -hmm. dessert. A fruit plate. We, we were talking about this earlier. We wanted to make sure that everybody knew, especially first time cruisers, majority of the eats here on 
the Mardi Gras are going to be included. So you don't have to pay an extra price for that, like mm -hmm. G-Bang or Big Chicken or Street Eats and Blue Iguana. That's not an additional cost. Right. That's already included in your cruise fare. Now, if you are eating like seafood or something like that, if seafood it's not shack. right, right, if it's not like lobster night or something like that, the seafood is probably going to be more. The steakhouses and uh, things like that are going to be more. We get a lot of comments of people asking, "Was this included? Mm -hmm. Was that included?" Our meal tonight, Chibang, is a restaurant mm -hmm. that is included. When they made the Mardi Gras, it was actually supposed to be a specialty dining restaurant, mm -hmm. but they changed the specialty dining to be free. Some of the places. Right. So Chibang and Cucina del Capitano are free, which is great because they're both really good, y'all. Yep. So we're going to end our night here. It is about 1030. I do apologize if you all have not we haven't shown you a lot today that means we've been doing our job mm -hmm. as hosts and we have absolutely been doing that we've just been mingling all day we have such a great group with us mm -hmm. this week and you all will see more of us but hey you got to just come you're missing out on so much i'll tell you that by not being here today's just been a great day a great start to the first ever melanin at sea group cruise. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, please subscribe and join the AK family. Help us hit our goal of 50,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow will be a day at sea. We have a group picture planned um, in our melanin at sea shirts. So we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. <laughs>